Hey guys, welcome to Arch Grinder UK and welcome to another gear review. This time we're checking out the Bugera G20 Infinium. This is a 20 watt twin channel all valve slash tube guitar head. It has two EL34s in the power amp and two ECC83s in the preamp. And like I said, has two channels, clean and overdrive. The clean channel is very simple, volume and tone is all you get. And on the overdrive channel, you get a full tone stack of bass, middle and treble, but you get included a morph control that allows you to adjust the EQ curve on the amp to go anywhere from US style tones to the British style tones and anywhere in between. You also get a high definition reverb and effects loop emulated line out with two options of emulation 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 1 by 12 and 4 by 12 options plus you get the infinium tube life multiplier technology or something like that it's really cool a uh, bit of technology that extends the life of the power valves and makes sure they see the proper current and voltage and stuff like that through the life of the valve so they last up to 20 times longer according to Bagera and it also has light indicators on the back two leds to let you know when the power out valves might be failing so you can just buy a new set and plug them straight in because with the infinium tube life multiplier technology itself biases the power tubes so no need to take it into a amp tech or anything like that you can literally just unplug put a fresh set in and it is self biased and you're good to go sounds pretty good so with that done, let's check out some tones. All right then guys, so let's check out some tones out of this amp. We're gonna start off obviously on the clean channel. Well, not obviously, but we're gonna start off on the clean channel. And the clean channel is really simple. It has a basic tone and volume control and they're both set to 12 o'clock at the moment. I've got the master at three to four and the reverb's on 12. But first of all, I'll give you the clean sound with no reverb. Now I'm going to set the reverb to 12 o'clock as well. So clean channel, all dials at 12, apart from the master that's around three or four o'clock. So we've got this. And that's your reverb. Okay, and now I'm just gonna pull the tone control back to about nine o'clock. So the tone control is now set at nine. Sounds like this. Okay, and all the way back to zero, so tone at zero. Okay, let's bring that back up to 12, so you can hear the difference. OK, 
Okay, and now we're going to move around clockwise in the opposite direction. So we go to about one or two. And as you can hear, you get a lot more of that brightness coming through, more treble, more presence, sounding very glassy, really cool. Okay, let's turn it up even more. So we're going around to three o'clock now on the tone control. And now let's turn it up to max. We're gonna go flat out clockwise on the tone control. Okay, I think I like it around about one, two o'clock, just past 12, where you just about get the high end kick in, but you still got the warmth there. Okay, so now let's check out the reverb. At the moment, we're set around 12 o'clock. Now let's turn it all the way up. Alright then guys, so that was the clean channel. Now it's time to move over to the overdrive channel and we do that either by using this button on the front panel here, which I'm gonna do. You just push that in and you're over to the overdrive channel. And if I haven't mentioned before, which I believe I haven't, it also comes with an included foot switch, which will appear on the screen right now, that allows you to change the channels and kick in the reverb, uh, turn the reverb on and off, I mean. So you just kick the reverb on and off and you can switch channels with the included foot switch that comes with this. And it's a very sturdy looking foot switch, I must say. Anyway, with that said, let's get on with checking out the overdrive channel. Okay, so I've set the overdrive to a low gain setting, so we're around nine o'clock on the, on the gain setting on the overdrive channel. The volume's at five. We've got bass, middle, treble, and morph control all set at 12 o'clock. Master's still on four. The reverb's backed off a little bit to around 10, 11 o'clock. So with the morph control, you can go between US and the UK style tone stack apparently and this is just straight up the middle so we've got a mixture of the both and like i said everything else is at 12 o'clock apart from the game which is set around nine at risk of repeating myself so let's check out how that sounds i'm on the strap bridge pickup <laughs> Okay, doesn't sound too bad. I was switching between neck and bridge there, just in case you didn't spot it. Uh, so what I'm gonna do, I think I'm gonna dial the bass back a little bit to around 10, 11 o'clock. I'm gonna push the mids to about seven, same for the treble. And we'll leave the morph control where it is for the time being. Everything else is as is. Let's check that out. And we'll just push the gain up slightly, actually. So we're going to about, wait, just, 10 o'clock ish so we've gone up a little bit 
got a little bit more bite to it I'm really digging that sound so now let's move the morph control back to the US side a little bit more so we're going from 12 to about 9 o'clock let's see how that sounds <laughs> Okay, and just to give you a reference, we'll take it back to 12 o'clock. This is what it sounds like at 12. So as you can hear, you get more pronounced mid, slightly warmer. Okay, let's dial it all the way back to zero, let's say on the US side, so we're complete US tone. Okay, as you can hear, it really dials back the mids, scoops the mids out, gives you more sort of like bass and higher treble chime as you might expect from a US type tone. So let's move that morph control or more around to the UK side. So now we're at three o'clock on the morph control dial. So we're three quarters around to the UK side. Helps if you turn your guitar up. I'm just going to dial back the morph control to about 10, 10 11 o'clock. So it's hinting more to the US side because I kind of dug it there. And I'm just going to increase the gain to about 12 o'clock. So we're halfway on the gain control. Again, bridge pick of the strap. Blah. Bridge pickup of the strap. Let's check it out. <laughs> guys so now i thought we'd see what it sounds like with some humbuckers i've got my jackson dinky with emg 8581 or 8185 active pickups everything on the amp is exactly the same the gain is on 12 volume on 12 and the tone stack is as it was and the master is as it was so let's check out how that sounds so all the settings exactly the same as per the strat <laughs>
All right then guys, let's max the gain out on this bad boy and see what he's got. So the gain's on full, everything else is where it was. So as you can hear, there's definitely a wide range of gain in this overdrive channel. Anything from sort of bluesy crunch to classic rock overdrive to full on gain. I've now just dialed the gain back to 12 o'clock. The volume is basically almost dimed and the tone stack is all at 12 with the reverb just before 10 o'clock and i've now switched it to standby mode and we're going out the emulated line out out of the back of the amp so let's check out how that sounds <laughs> guys so we've just checked out the emulated line out on the overdrive channel now i've switched to the clean channel and i've switched guitars i'm back on the strat the volume on the clean channel is maxed out and we have the tone control around one two o'clock and the reverb is just the past just past 12. so let's check out how that sounds <laughs> Right then guys, that was the Bugera G20 Infinium All Tube Class A 20 Watt Guitar Amp or Head, Amp Head. And I've got to say, overall, I'm really impressed with this little beast. It's a very versatile little monster, has very nice clean sounds, has a wide range of gain on tap in the overdrive channel, and it's got a very sweet sounding reverb as well. And I'm very impressed with the emulated line out. Normally, most emulated line outs, in my, my opinion, are a little bit naff but this one sounds pretty good to me. So I hope you guys enjoyed the demo. I also want to thank Bugera Amps and the awesome people at Music Tribe for sending this amp out to me to check out. Much appreciated guys. And I'll be back really soon with another gear demo or vlog or lesson. So make sure you check back on my channel and subscribe, like, and share if I haven't said that already. And I'll see you again really soon in the next video. Cheers.